Hey guys, <coughs> welcome to the brand new Kafka section of the Kafka video altogether. Now, there are a lot of things that we need to cover in Kafka. Um, and to be honest, to start off with, here demo is one part of the Kafka journey, whereas the theoretical concepts are needs to be pretty much stronger when you learn with Kafka. Now, I would not like to start off the session with Kafka with the boring theory. Let's do one thing. Let's actually download the Kafka software and then let's bring up the Kafka and then we will try to club the theories. Okay. So in this video, we are going to see how we can download the Kafka in Windows and in Linux. But before that, I hope you have already gone through the video of uh, how to install WSL in Windows, which means you, in Windows machine, you have Linux environment. So that now in Kafka, we can kind of uh, play around with here or here as well. Yeah. And to show you guys, I have already Linux environment set up here. And how do you turn it on? So CMD, make sure that you are in command prompt CMD. Just you can say WSL. That's it. Right. So the moment once you say WSL, come on, something you show me up. Okay, it's taking some time. Okay, there you go. It has it has kicked off. Now make sure that once you have started this window uh, Linux part of it, just let me turn on this brightness. I think it's see, yeah, it's kind of not helping me out. Okay, I think that's good. Now here the first thing is that make sure that you sudo apt update so that everything is updated. And obviously you need to pass the um admin credentials for the update and also make sure that you also load that source slash etc slash environment now what is this i have not yet spoken maybe i will talk about it eventually or maybe i will talk about it eventually now what we have to do let's go to our uh, browsers and google it up saying that oh, come on the first thing is that make sure that you say download Kafka. Okay. Now here, see, now that's the thing. Now you have one which is of confluent.io and the other one is this actual Apache, right? Actual Apache Kafka. Now what do we understand? Kafka was actually created by Apache. Is it? Well, about the Kafka history, I will talk about it. Not at this moment, right? So, but you know that Kafka Apache, as the name itself says, it's a part of the Apache, right? So let's take it for a moment that Apache is the one who invented Kafka, not invented, who built Kafka. But again, this not that is not the actual story. We'll revisit on that. Now there are two things. One is the Confluent, other one is the the Apache Kafka. Now what's the difference actually? Now here's the thing. Let me try to add three columns. One, two, three. Okay. One is the open source. Okay, and another one is the uh, commercial, C O M M. Okay, and another one is the managed services. Okay, something like that. Now, <coughs> sorry about that. Now, open source, as the name itself says, it's openly available, which means that if you are ever implementing the open source Apache Kafka, open source Kafka, Apache Kafka, which means you have to deal with everything. Any issue that you face it, you have to take care of it any tools that you need to build up you have to build on your own if there is any security issues you have to deal with the security aspects of it environment you have to build it up and many more of that it's open source which means you are openly you can do whatever you want but no one is there going to help you out obviously you have community forums and documentations to guide you but you are all alone and that's what this guy is all about yeah now commercial if you have made a guess yeah, that's what it is. Okay, that's what it is. Now, which means there is already a team that have been built with a lot of Kafka experts. They can export those engineers to your company and uh, they will guide you or they'll help you to build the Kafka related projects. That's the only one part of it. Um, the second part is that with, with the Confluent, right? You, you With the Confluent, again, this is commercial distribution. With the Confluent, you also have this community edition community edition and that will help you that will actually give you with lot of good tools 
um to to do, to do a lot of uh, uh what do you call that small set of features a small set of features which you which you would not get over here they would have built in the uh in in the part of the confident in the commercial distribution in the community edition so you will get some certain kind of good features for example i'm just making it up that's not the reality you, you're running kafka and you want to automatically start the kafka uh you don't need to run you don't need to run the commands you have certain scripts to execute or do you want to do some load balancing or you want to perform any clustering all those kind of things which is actually available as a part of the community edition again these features may or may not be available but i'm just throwing some words out there so that you understand that what is not available here will be kind of built over here so that's the commercial distribution and uh, in the commercial distribution not only you will get engineers to your uh, organization but also lot of good documentation lot of good features which you would not get it in the open source and not most likely this is where mo all most of the organization will be using the apache kafka right apache kafka not apache kafka. again apache kafka you can use that word but most of the organization will be using this commercial distribution where you have a separate vendor which will which will get the job done obviously the costings are there they will charge you high they will charge you on per hour basis and many more of that i mean like yeah but it's safer because you have you have the team that you can rely on managed services right you don't need any engineer you don't need to know who has installed kafka you don't need to know um any software uh to create topics you don't need, actually the thing is in managed service you need not worry anything about kafka how to how to create a topic how to set up the kafka clusters how to uh, run the zoo keepers or who is managing the hardware who is managing the software uh, when to upgrade the software uh, hardware maintenance cost everything will be taken care by someone else all you have to do is just use kafka and majority of the uh, integration tools that i've worked on like for example tipco or uh, delbumi or uh, or even mule soft you get a kafka connector you you kind of get a kafka connector itself um uh, let me see if i can just show that to you uh just going to pause this video and try to get that one of the one of the integration tools so that i can tell you show you what it what i'm trying to convey the message just give me a moment All right there you go so the one that i've opened a tool is a mule soft tool uh, i think this was the one that's closely been available of available at my software uh, in my desktop so as you can see uh, i mean this would not make sense anything at this moment so if i kind of a search something over here for kafka just see what's happening okay so i'm just saying kafka uh, not not here i'm sorry uh, in here in the search exchange if i try to search kafka and there you go see you have a kafka connector i'm trying to add this module finish it so it's see this it's downloading apache kafka connector okay so where is the software where is the software where is the hardware who is maintaining that uh, which which right now we are trying to work on windows machine right so this apache kafka whatever it is in which in where it is getting maintained is it in windows is it in linux what what happens if windows goes down what happens if linux goes down nothing you need to worry about everything is been taken care of so see here you can just you drag and drop this publish message and you can just publish it obviously there are a lot of things you need to provide the input here and that's what we are going to learn but now you understand so you don't need to worry about the software or anything it, it's it's available for you and you just use it so th that's how one of the managed services looks like but again the definition is not completely correct but you just got the point what i'm trying to tell now what we are going to do we are going to work on this guy and even this guy as well okay uh, interchangeably and uh, there's a reason why we do that uh, but first let's download the open source click on that at the time of this recording this is 3.5.1 um obviously it might change to a higher version but um, but that's okay at this moment it's 3.5.1 and i always prefer one thing 
if there's any new software that has installed a new release i always prefer n minus 1 okay because that's the more stable one so i'll kind of go to this guy okay i'll just go to this guy and i want to work with this person not person what i'm saying okay now here let's uh, as you can see you have the source download here and the binary downloads so let's let's understand this if you can see here we build for multiple versions of Scala okay if you are working on Scala right Scala this only matters if you are using Scala and you want a version to build for the same Scala version using otherwise any version should work 2.13 is recommended yeah, 2.13 is recommended or any version should work fine okay so let's first try to click on this Kafka 3.5.0 okay I think this this is where what I'm going to do save as I'm gonna save it in desktop okay so it's 10 MB um, let me get downloaded ah, it's taking some time though yeah yeah it's downloaded uh, double click on this and there you have the source version Kafka 3.5.0 that, that that's the one but again uh, that's not we're going to okay let's let's close this and I'm gonna delete this go to my C drive create a folder yeah Kafka oh it's already there is it okay I didn't notice that okay Kafka and I'm going to say give the name is Apache and paste it over here that's it so that's your source and here you have the bin directory yeah and then you have the Windows machine not Windows machine Windows folder right so if you notice under bin and Windows this is where we execute most of the commands like this start the Kafka server stop uh, create a topic see create a topic and uh, zookeeper to start and stop the zookeeper and then Kafka produce and consume message lot of things okay this remember this point bin and Windows okay and this would be common in almost all of it now if I go back a little bit here and then you should have um, config yeah under config you can see uh, under config you have zookeeper which we which and then server this kind of these two play a very prominent role because um, a quick info Kafka to start the Kafka to start the Kafka which we also call it as a broker to start the Kafka the first thing is that you need to keep start the zookeeper obviously you need to understand the difference between zookeeper and the Kafka brokers um, and um, if you think that I'm not going to explain that's uh, kind of not the right question but I'm going to talk about it but it's too early right? it's too early now you have downloaded the Apache Kafka right Apache Kafka which is cool then let me create another folder called as Confluent and here let me go to the Confluent guy uh, let me see where can I find it obviously right this is this was expected it will expect you to sign up this is a cloud version and this is self-managed and obviously I don't want to go for the cloud version let's click on self-managed I'm just going to give the name and the project and uh, company I think is fine uh, integration anarchy and then you have the email um, oh any random email I guess okay I think I'm just going to give any random email and then in India yeah just right okay so I agree start free let's see if I get anything cool now here now you can see community edition right the open source and community features the open source and community features of Confluent platform can be installed and manually can be installed manually by downloading the zip portal okay the, the con community the distributed deploy Confluent platform in a distributed architecture using Confluent for Kubernetes or Ansible playbooks we will yes we will look at it not now at a very very later in the close and local install Confluent platform on a single local machine now in our case obviously I have only one Windows machine um, by using tar or zip file 
So if you are using a single local machine, which in our case, this is the one because you have only one Windows machine and you're using a local one, right? So, and hence we can go with the local. That's the easiest one. And community, again, even you can use a community as well. There's no harm in that. The open source and community features of Confluent platform can be installed manually by downloading zip or tar file. Okay. So either you go for local or community. Well, yeah, it doesn't make that much of a difference at this moment, but it makes a huge difference in the real time projects. Very huge difference. So I'll go with the community. Um, and I'm just going to download this. Let's see. Okay. And again, I'm going to save that. Uh, desktop yeah let it get downloaded see the community has almost 500 mb and let's see the local one let's see the local guy how many mb you carry so the local is almost 1.9 gig guys 1.9 gig so it, it's huge it's huge so i'm gonna pause this video and uh keep it ready and remember uh now we have three versions, okay, Kafka, Apache, which is open source, plus Confluent, you have one local, another one is the uh, Confluent community. So once that's done, what I want you to do is that I want you to extract and uh, obviously place it in the Confluent. So here you have the local and the one, uh, just me, local and the one you have community. Yeah. So place it in the respective folders and keep it ready. Now, while that's happening, let's go to the d Linux part of it and Linux. Uh, this is your home directory home. Where are you home and integration? Okay. That's where my um, home path is all set up about integration and And here I think I had already created a folder, but let's just me delete it. Uh, just give me a moment. Let it get deleted. Okay, what I want you to do is that uh, I want you to create a folder in, 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 in your home directory of Linux. Either you can navigate through Windows, create a folder, something like this. So Kafka, I'll just say Kafka. And here I can say uh, Apache, Apache and another folder which is confluent or you can actually use the linux part of it so see here home that, that's the beauty of using Win wsl right so you get the flavor of both linux and linux and windows so see ls minus lrt apache or confluent i'm going to go, go inside confluent at this moment if you can see it's empty refresh it's empty so mkdir uh local mkdir uh community and chmod 775 all the same yeah 775 should be fine and there you go if i refresh it yeah there you have right so ls minus lrt so yeah i think that would be it um once you have placed it obviously see this one thing yeah before we close this session now in this c drive in apache you can just take it control c control copy where are you control c and you can go to the linux and home integration anarchy kafka and paste it see it's getting pasted and there are just let me let's let it complete the pasting yeah so if you can see here ls minus lrt see it's getting pasted right see it's, it's 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 available see you can see it right away this is happening and this is happening see here now that's one way of it or you can use wa to get command to get the software downloaded directly to linux that is also we are going to look at in the next video now with this uh, i'm going to stop here i think it's uh, so also past almost uh, 15 minutes not a good not a good video to have more than 15 minutes at this moment. So I'm going to stop this video. Um, see you guys in the next part of the video. Until then, take care and have a great learning. See ya.